Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and um, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications, you know we're dropping you them fire fire tutorials every day so you know we're going to keep them coming so do keep coming back and um, today we're going to look at creating um, a meta human, realistic meta humans and you know just to see kind of um, how we can compete with I guess say you know Unreal Engine 5 and you know their amazing amazing array of meta humans so let's go without further ado we'll just load up a neutral base um, Right, and once that's loaded, now what we'll do is hit J and we'll just get a nice uh, close-up of that character. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to really look how we can make this, I guess, you know, into a really realistic meta-human. So, let's go. What we want to do is uh, we want to start with the skin. So we'll go into skin and just go into our skin and makeup. And you can see here we've got um, a couple of presets, templates, etc. Um, what we'll do at first is we'll add some default skin. So there's going to be a lot of loading time, guys, because uh, we're going to be adding lots and lots of fun stuff uh, to the body. Just to really kind of texture it up and, um, you know, get the best results out of the, um, out of the, the mesh. Right, so here we can see. You know, already kind of looking a lot more textured, you know, a lot more details in the skin. A lot more like a, you know, realistic life, like a meta human. So uh, there's a start already. And, you know, that was just a click of a button, guys. So you can see how simple that was. And uh, we can do a load, a load more stuff, though. So we've done that. And we'll go back. We'll just pick some eyes. <laughs> I don't know why these eyes really don't suit character that's staring at me so we'll choose some eyes uh, we'll go with brown eyes and uh, that'll just be baking the skin textures Let's give that a second and we'll replace those okay so we've got um, some eyes now we can go back into our skin because uh, you know we've got a lot of uh, work to do here but already it's looking really cool and uh, if we just scroll down and we're going to look for realistic human skin and you know here we can just further start to um, layer layer that up and um, we'll maybe make him a bit tough a bit of a tough guy so just bear with me guys, because I'm doing this in real time, so it will, um, you know, there will be quite a few stages where it loads up. But I hope you guys are having, you know, a fantastic weekend or week, whenever I decide to drop this tutorial. And um, yeah, really hope you're enjoying the channel so far. It's been a great um, experience and, um, you know, a great way to connect with some really passionate users. Right, so now we can see the difference there, you know, we're just getting a bit more detail on the face in the skin area. And um, we can go to our skin tab here and that's when we'll have a control over all these things that we're putting on the body and, you know, we can turn them on and off, etc. And, you know, just start to play around with them here, as you can see. Um, but, you know, a great way um, to, you know, really kind of start to define and get the look that you want is you can actually go into all of these individual things and then you can, you know, mess around with all of these little tabs here and, you know, just get get different looks. So you might want that to be a bit more predominant, etc. So we're not really kind of going for anything stylized. We're just trying to get a very realistic look. So I'm not going to play around too much with that. In fact, I'll probably turn that off and leave that off um, so yeah as we continue our journey to get uh, a realistic meta human we can then you know further go down into our skin textures and we can you know start to add stuff here as you can see um, which is, a lot of it's already been uh, placed on the body and is looking uh, quite predominant etc um, skin uh, forehead lines are already kind of in place 
So, you know, there's a lot of stuff already done with just the click of a, a couple of buttons there. And I'm not so much going for a unique look in terms of the, you know, the, the head and stuff and the, the shape of the jawline, etc. I'm more looking for kind of just how real we can get our image. And then uh, what we're going to want to do here is we just add some facial decor. Now this will add a really, uh, really cool layer of um, realism to the character, as you'll see now. And we just want to add that as um, another layer on top of all these that we've already got. Now you can see, you know, just... Um, adds kind of a whole nother layer of detail and uh, we can click on our face and if we turn that off you know you can just see it makes the skin you know a lot more realistic and you know a lot more real to life uh, so you know just this great great way to add some realism and you can come here in the opacity and you can play with that and you know you could turn it up and down um, you know and just really get uh, a different kind of unique look and um, remember guys you can come here and adjust a lot of stuff as well um, in terms of kind of uh, the face um, you can't adjust too much here as uh, we don't have I thought the wrinkles here on the mouth would be here but they're not in here so these are part of the facial decor that comes with that so if you wanted less of that you'd have to mend up here but we'll leave it at about 65 looks good and if I just again show you the difference that makes you can really see you know it really does look a lot more real to life right um, and then again we can come down here and you know there's probably a few different things that you can play with um, and you know mess around with um, just trying to get kind of your own uh, unique look um, let me just see what this does. So yeah, this will play around with the kind of contrast, etc. So you know, we'll just brighten that up a little bit. And you know, if I go before and after, you can see, you know, it just adds a nice little contrast to that face. And we'll just take that down a little bit more. And um, you know, just really a great way um, you can just adjust everything here in the facial decal. And you know, get rid of things and just, you know, really kind of fine tune everything. Uh, so we're kind of getting, we're getting closer to, you know, that realistic image. Well, I'm going to just take that contrast down some more because I'm not really liking it. In fact, I may just leave it at zero. Um, yeah, I'm not really liking it, what it was doing. I think it looks a lot better like that. And so that's facial decal. And then we can um, scroll down and further. And I'm not going to really focus on the hands and the feet, etc. I'm really going to just focus on the face and how to get kind of a very realistic um, image. And uh, you can add some lip decal here if you like. And, um, you know, just click on that and we can bring that down a little bit and just get that to blend in nicely. At about 30 that looks pretty cool so if I show you before and after it kind of just makes the lips you know look a bit more lifelike a bit more um, human like and a bit more realistic and um, again we can come down here and you can you know play around with all these things we can add some uneven skin if we add that You can see how it makes the, um, you know, skin, you know, a bit more patchy, a bit more uneven. And that's a pretty cool effect. You could just play around with that. And again, it just really does add some more um, realism to the character. And um, again, we can come down here and we can add some oil to the face. So we'll pick the one that works best. We'll try this one. And that just adds a bit of kind of grease. I could just take that down a little bit. And uh, yeah, so we can then go down and you know, there's a whole array of kind of different things you can add. Um, but I'm really kind of liking what I'm seeing in front of me in terms of realism. You know, let me know what you guys think and you know, 
how that can compare to the um, meta humans in Unreal. And then what we can do is we can uh, we can add some makeup here, and this will just really um, really start to fine tune everything a little bit more. So we'll just add one that just brings out a little bit more pop. And don't worry if you're creating a, a you know a male character. You know, or a female, you can use makeup on both of the characters and, you know, really just fine tune them. Oh, excuse me. Uh, really just fine tune them to, um, you know, blend it in a little bit more so it doesn't look kind of so predominant. So, um, in this tab here, you can go to your makeup and that's where they, this will display your different um, looks that you have. So, we want to take things like, um, you know the blush off uh, depending on what you're going for uh, and the contour you can see um, that kind of just adds a uh, you know shadowy darkness around the edge of the face and we could just take that down a little bit and just maybe leave that at nine and then uh, the foundation you can see it makes quite a big difference to the look so we'll turn that up just a bit more and see what that does. Leave that at about 50. And, you know, really, um, you know, starting to come to life a little bit more. And we'll just take um, the highlights uh, away from the face. So let's try and turn them down a little bit first. I'm not really liking what they're doing. Um, yeah, so I'll just leave that on. Z. I'll turn that off. And I uh, will just take the uh, foundation down a tad, maybe a little bit too much. I will take it back to about there. But as you can see, you know, that's done, um, you know, it's done some quite effective results. If I turn them both off, that's our original. And then turning them back on, you can just see it adds, you know, just another layer of, you know, realism to the scene um and that's you know just with the um makeup and um you know I, this is kind of if you're doing a female character i guess um you know they've got kind of lipstick and eyelashes etc so we'll go back out and um we'll go into our makeup and sfx and you know nothing really in here unless you want a kind of particular look etc and uh, yeah, oh, excuse me, I'm quite tired tonight, uh, do you forgive me? I'm uh, just trying to make these tutorials to keep the community together and keep us creating. But um, yeah, here, we, here we're looking at kind of um, a final image and one way we can actually um, see uh, the effects and then you know how good the uh the image looks is just by adding a kind of light setup um or we'll just use a quick one in one of the packs if i can find it so if we just add a quick preset um and we can then see how see how that looks and now you can really kind of see you know how lifelike that character looks um you know pretty amazing he looks pretty pretty realistic it's quite quite scary actually if you ask me so what we'll do is we'll just add some hair we'll just add some hair to that character um just a quick bit of hair And really start to, you know, really bring him to life. Unless, you know, you want a bald character and then you can, you know, not worry about any hair. But, you know, um, really, really scary how real the character looks. And, you know, just courtesy of Reillusion's amazing, amazing software. And, you know, just how real you can get it looking now. Um... I guess that concludes the tutorial guys and you know it's just a quick one to show you kind of how to how kind of how it can compare to Unreal Engine's Meta Humans and how I think someone asked me in the comment 
you know, to uh, make a tutorial to show how real you can get the characters. So I really hope that helps and really hope that um, really hope that shows you exactly kind of how you can get realistic lifelike meta human creations. So don't forget to sub to the channel and hopefully see you again soon for another tutorial.